Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Sarasota, Florida. I am going to be sharing a blog hop with you today and our theme is Slim Shady. And no, it's not the song by Eminem, although I do like that song. I'm going to be pulling out my Slim Sayings and my Slim Line dies. We also have matching envelopes. Everyone in this blog hop is going to be making slimline cards, and th those are the very tall cards. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's flip this camera around, and I'll show you what I came up with. I am going to start off by showing you all of the products that I'm going to use to make my cards. First of all, I'm starting with the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series Paper. Mm. Love all these bold floral images and, of course, our neutrals, I like to call them, because they're accented on the other side to match with the double-sided designer series paper. This particular pack of paper comes in 12 by 12 inches, and it is free during celebration with a $50 purchase. And that means that when your order hits $50, you can get this for free. When your order hits $100, you can get two packs of this if you want or something else. But celebration goes on until the end of February. So February 28th is the last day to take advantage of the freebies and who doesn't love free, right? So we're also going to be using these slim line envelopes. Now you get 15 envelopes in three different colors in the pack. And I love the printed insides on these envelopes. I just think that makes it extra special, doesn't it? So we're gonna be using one of those. I'm going to be using our black and white gingham ribbon. I love this because we're gonna color it with some stamp and blend markers. I might add a few of our brushed brass butterflies. I think that kind of goes along with the daffodils. I've got stays on ink here. And then here is the Slim Sayings stamp set and the Slim Line dies. I just wanna make sure I'm giving you the right, Slim Card dies they're called. Now. There are four different dies in here. You've got this one, which is a really neat pattern, and then we've got the chevron pattern. We've also got a couple borders that we're gonna also use. The first thing that I would like to do, oh, and the stamp set, of course, and these are really nice big greetings. They're bold, and I love big greetings. If you follow me, you know that about me. First thing I wanna do here is bring in my piercing mat. I like to cover this with some printer weight paper. I just tape it on the back and I use this for my stamping surface. So I want to color some of this ribbon so that it's not black and white, but yellow and black because we're gonna be using Daffodil Delight for our card base. So I wanna do that first and so I'm just gonna kind of figure out how much ribbon I need here. Here would be for one bow. And then we're going to probably need another bow. So I'm just kinda doing a little, little bit of a dry run here with this. Grab my scissors. And then we're gonna color this first because I need to have some drying time with the ribbon. Now, alcohol markers are fabulous for doing this because they do dry quickly, like the ribbon will dry quickly, but you only have to do one side because it bleeds through to the other side, which makes it super easy, right? And I like the smell of them. <laughs> so. I'm not a marker sniffer, but I do like the smell of these. And you can color this any color you'd like. You can also um, pull it through an ink pad, the ribbon, and change the color on it. The black is gonna, of course, stay black, and then you're gonna get whatever color you need. So we're just gonna set this aside, isn't that pretty? And we're gonna get started on our card. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. I've got a piece of cardstock here that is Daffodil Delight, and this is 
eight and a half by seven inches. So we need to score this in half at three and a half. And this is going to be our slimline card. And we'll just fold that and burnish that edge good. This is what a slimline card looks like. Now, this is going to be the perfect size to fit in one of our envelopes. I haven't decided. I'm thinking we're gonna, uh, I don't know if I wanna use white or gray or green. So we'll decide that when we get to the, the end of the card. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am going to be using the tailor-made tags. This is a set of 10 different dies in here. And I've been using this a lot lately. I really like it. It was very challenging for me to pack all of my stuff to come to Florida. So I'm down here working for the month of February. And one of the things that I knew I had to have was the tailor-made tags dies because I've been using them a lot lately. So I've got a piece of the beautiful Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. And this is cut three and three sixteenths by eight and a quarter. Then I've got a piece of basic black and this is three and a half by eight and a half. I've got a scrap of Daffodil Delight and we are going to stamp that right away. I'm gonna use Stazon ink. And the reason why I'm using stays on ink is because these are bold letters and they're kind of thick. And I just find that I get a better image when I'm stamping on colored cardstock. If I were stamping on very vanilla or basic white, you don't have to worry about that. I would probably use memento ink. But because we're stamping on a colored cardstock, that cardstock tends to be a little more porous than white or vanilla and I want a good solid image. So I just wanted to explain why am I using stays on? That's why. This says you are one of a kind and I have so many different people that I can share this card with. I'm going to take the tailored tag die that fits best with this. I am going to take that to my machine and die cut it. The other thing that I wanna do is I wanna take this black piece, this is three and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to die cut the chevron out of that one. And one thing I do recommend is that you use some temporary tape to hold this in place so that you get it centered on your layer. So I'm gonna run over to my machine and die cut these. I'll be right back. Okay, here comes all of our pieces. Now, these are the pieces that are left over after you've die cut this. So we're gonna use this layer for our card. I'm not using these, but I do wanna keep them intact so that I can use them in the future for a different card. And you just wanna make sure that you keep all your bits and pieces if you plan on doing that. I'm just gonna put those in a clear envelope and save them for another project. Okay, here comes our overlay. I've got my liquid glue here. And I'm just going to glue this piece. Oops, hang on, I got a little bit there. I'm gonna glue this piece on to my designer paper. And you don't need to get too crazy with the glue. It's, this isn't gonna go any place, right? A little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there just to hold it in place. And I think that looks great. And I'm going to add this to my designer paper layer. And your designer paper should fit nicely behind this. It's cut just a little bit smaller than the black layer. Ooh, and that turned out really nice. I love those flowers peeking through there. Now we need to decide, do we want our um, chevron to go this way or do we want it to go that way? And I think I like it going this way. So I'm gonna take that and put it on the front of our card base. And that's gonna center on here nicely. I love how that daffodil pops, that color pops in the background. 
And now we're going to take our tag and that's what I colored the ribbon for. I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to add my tag with some dimensionals. I'm just gonna pop some dimensionals on here. And we'll add this to the front. I could tie my ribbon through there right now, but I think it's always just a little bit easier to add your ribbon with a mini glue dot. That way I can manipulate it just a little bit. So I'm gonna tie a nice little bow here. Oh, I think I want some bigger tails than that, we'll see. Here. Yep, I think that's going to go good. And grab my mini glue dot. And we'll put that right up here. There we go. I think that looks great. Now, I said I wanted to put on some of these brushed brass butterflies. I love these. Okay, I'm gonna put one right here. Ooh, that just puts a little bit of bling on our tag. I'm gonna set this one right over here. What do you guys think? Pretty, right? Okay, now what color should we use for our envelope? I was kind of leaning towards the green, but now I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe we'll go with, well, I do like the green, and there is green in here. There's several different colors of green. Let's go with the green one. I think that'll look nice together. And I have one more little quick project for you. I want to give this to a friend, and so I wanna make a little treat to go with it. So what I thought I'd do is take the designer series paper that I used on the card, and this is four by four and three quarters. I got one of our clear envelopes here, so I'm gonna die cut the long edge here and the long edge there with this Edge die. So I'm going to take this over to my machine. I'm going to die cut this. And I think what I'm going to do before I do the die cutting is I'm going to fold this in half. This is going to be like a topper for a treat holder. And I think this will die cut through both of these layers. I will be right back and let you know. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Okay, hang tight. Okay. It did die cut through both of these. And isn't that just a really pretty edge on here? All right, what am I gonna put in my treat holder? I went over to the grocery store today. We have this really neat Amish grocery store that is within walking distance. And Steve and I have been eating the double dipped peanuts. It's gonna be the death of me, but they are so good. And I thought, what a great little treat to give to my friend. I'm going to make a date to have lunch with her. She lives down here in Florida, so that's gonna be really fun. And then I'll have a little treat to share. And oh, these are so good. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I only wanna fold this over as far as my layer is gonna cover up the, um, the flap, right? So I don't want it to, I don't want it, the flap to be sticking out. So I think that looks pretty good. Hold that down just like that. Get those peanuts down in there so that I can get a flat surface. And then I would use tear and tape or um, seal or seal plus to glue this on here, but I didn't bring any with me. So I'm finding that, you know, you can only pack so much stuff, right? 
So I'm finding that I am being challenged while I'm here in Sarasota to improvise quite a bit. And um, I've got my son-in-law, Jared, and baby Val are coming down to visit on Thursday for a four-day weekend. And we're really excited about that, but I've been giving him a list of things to pick up. And uh, tear and tape was one of those things. My, I forgot my seal plus. I like to use that when I'm making boxes. And then a stamp set that I left behind. So he's going to bring those with him when he comes on Thursday. And how lucky are we, right? <laughs> okay. Here comes. I just want to get this in here so it's fairly straight. These mini glue dots will hold this in place perfectly. And then we're gonna take this remaining ribbon and we're gonna add this to the front of our little treat holder. Maybe if I can tie a bow. Some days it's easier than others, isn't it? If you wanted to, you could add a little tag on the front of here, but since I put a tag on my card, I just didn't really think it would be necessary. I don't wanna look like the tag maniac. This right here, oh my goodness. Now I can eat some peanuts because I know I have enough for my friend. And what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? So again, this is a Slim Sayings stamp set. And the Slim dies, these are a lot of fun. Slim line cards are very trendy. And I was so happy when Stampin' Up! came out with this. The other thing that I wanted to let you know is I have an online class with this bundle. And it actually uses the, um, the Specialty Designer Series paper with the cranes, that suite from the mini catalog. It uses that paper and there are nine different cards in that online class. Six of them are slimline, meaning they're tall and thin, but Three of them are regular size cards so that you can get a lot of variety and ideas out of this. You're going to find that online class on my blog. It is www.astampabove.com and when you click right up here, that's going to take you over to my blog. You can scroll down until you see the list of all the people in the blog hop. Hop along with us and see what everybody else made using the Slim Shady theme for February. Also, if you're on YouTube, please don't forget, click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You definitely want to check out all my upcoming videos. And if you place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. Use that in the host code space if your order is under $150. Don't forget, celebration goes until the 28th of this month, so February 28th. And you can get this 12 by 12 pack of paper for free with your $50 purchase. If you guys need catalogs, please let me know. I did bring some with me to Sarasota just in case somebody needed catalogs. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Head over, check out the blog hop, and thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. Bye-bye.